In this video, you'll discover for shadydesigns.com.au our tips to piping cushions. So piping the cushion is a little bit of an older style look, perhaps you could say. So it's where you've got the edge of the cushion and it's um, sort of like a rolled tube on there. You might have seen it in older style things. You can, uh, you might, you might have seen sort of roping or uh, that sort of um, uh, decorative finish but it kind of gives the cushion a bit of a border. Um, it's not for every room. I mean, if you want to go with a modern look, then you just keep the cushions plain and uh, don't finish off the edges. But in some cases, piping makes the real difference. Perhaps you've got piped cushions already and you need to complement that. Perhaps you want to have a few different fabrics to complement each other. And this is one trick that we use. You can use the piping to bring the whole scheme together. So in this example, we've got a plane on the back and the decorative front. There's also in the room some other fabrics. So what we're doing is piping each of the cushions in this same blue. So that means all the cushions are going to be consistent. Even though we've got six or seven different fabric patterns in that same area, we're going to keep it consistent by piping it in that same color. And that instantly brings all those cushions together in the one theme. If you've got any questions about piping, give us a call here at Shady Designs or drop us an email and we can share with you our best advice. I'm Arif from Shady Designs. Thanks again.